Do you own any fragrances that are just on another level to most of the other fragrances in your collection? They're actually almost too good. Too good to just wear casually, too good to just wear going down to the shops to buy some milk and eggs. I've got a few fragrances like that. They're just too good for everyday use. So I save them for special occasions. I'm gonna tell you about some top draw fragrances that are perfect for special occasions. Stay tuned. There's definitely an argument for just wearing the fragrances that you really love whenever you want, not saving them for special occasions, not only wearing them for a few days in a year, just wearing them whenever you like and getting the most value out of them. The thing is, I'm a little bit conscious about overwearing the fragrances that I love, that I love them so much that I would only wear these, no other fragrances, and I would wear them to the point where I've worn them so much that they're not special anymore and I don't want to lose that. I want these to always be the fragrances that I turn to for very select special occasions. Of course, all these fragrances are absolutely stunning. They're mesmerizing, they're intoxicating, and I've had many a compliment wearing these fragrances, but it's not about that. It's not about what other people think of the fragrance that I'm wearing. The important thing for me is how these fragrances make me feel. They take me up a notch, they take me to another level, they elevate me beyond norm. And if I wore them too much, they would become the norm. But I wanna be above the norm, especially when combined with a sharp outfit. These fragrances absolutely kill it for special occasions. The first one is from one of my favorite brands. Second favorite, if you've seen my recent video on that. This is Eau Sauvage Parfum from Dior. I think this is one of the best designer, citrusy, woody, aromatic fragrances. There's lavender, there's bergamot, there's vetiver. Very gentlemanly, very clean, crisp and sophisticated. There's depth as well. This is the slightly older version, so I believe there's myrrh in this. The current formulation has elemi, but most people say there isn't that much of a difference and they both have the same vibe. It's got a kind of classical men's cologne smell to it, but it's also modern and updated. It doesn't smell outdated at all. It's sort of got that classic timeless feel. If you're a bit of a young gun, maybe this one leans a little too mature for you. I'd say probably 30 upwards. Although if you think you can rock it and you're 18, then you go for it. You're probably gonna be the best smelling 18 year old in the room. But this is the sort of fragrance that someone wears when they want to give the impression that they've got it together. They've got some world experience. They know how to dress. They know how to behave. They've got some inner confidence. It's really a fragrance that reflects all those things. Pair this with a sharp looking suit, probably on a summer or a spring day, just with a shirt, maybe a waistcoat, maybe the full suit. I know I mentioned that these are fragrances that I just wouldn't wear every day and I wouldn't wear them casually. I have actually worn this one casually because it works. It seems to work just as well with jeans and a t-shirt as it does with the sharpest suit that you could possibly wear. It's a stunning, timeless, classic, masterpiece of a fragrance. This is the older formulation. I do not want to wear this too much, which is another reason why I'm not just going to wear this casually because I, I want this to last me for the rest of my life because I probably won't be able to ever buy another bottle of it. Incidentally, I was lucky a few years ago, I just walked into a department store. This was tucked away on the back of the shelf. It had been forgotten about for probably years. So I'm very lucky to have this. And this comes out only on special occasions. The next fragrance is from one of my favorite niche brands. It's Nasamato. I love so many from the brand. Black Afghano, Pardon, Boronda. They're all special occasion fragrances really, but this one just seems to cut through everything a little bit more. It just seems to be a bit more of a statement maker than any of those fragrances. Because of that, it elevates me, it lifts me, it gives me a confidence, it gives me that, that feel that I want when I wear an empowering fragrance for a special occasion. This one is Duro. So what we've got with Duro is very intense woods, leather and spices. It's almost a little bit medicinal. It seems to be quite a divisive fragrance. I adore this. I don't think it's too challenging to wear. I think it's different and a little bit quirky, but certainly not challenging. But I have heard people talk about this fragrance and say it's too much. They can't get on with the smell. It is just not a smell that they would want to go into public wearing. I don't get it because I'm the opposite to that. This is exactly the sort of fragrance I want to go into the public wearing because it smells different because I'm gonna stand out, because it gives me that hum of confidence. What I really love about Duro is it's got a bit of a badass 
quality, it's got some attitude, it's going to smell so different to what anyone else is wearing, it's just going to cut through everything, it's going to elevate you, it's going to make you feel good about yourself and that just gives me that little edge of confidence which is what I want to feel when I wear a fragrance for a special occasion. If you want a fragrance for a special occasion that has intensity, that has attitude, that is going to stand out, then Duro is something you should try and smell if you can. One of my favourite fragrances of all time is Naxos from Zerzhov. Tobacco and honey is a sensational pairing of notes and it is done to absolute perfection in Naxos, but it's not just about the tobacco and the honey. It's an aromatic fragrance. There's some bergamot, there's some citrus lift in here. It's got a little bit of a, a pop to it. There's some lavender. If it was just fully focused on the tobacco and the honey, it may be a fragrance that would be limited in terms of when you could wear it. Perhaps you wouldn't want to wear it in warmer situations or in the summer, but I've worn this in the summer that lavender that citrus lifts it and brightens things up to make it more of a versatile fragrance that you could wear all year round it doesn't really smell like anything else the quality is insane the ingredients that they're using in here must be pretty expensive pretty special the performance on this is massive this one lasts and lasts it just doesn't fade away you could wear it all day you could wear it for 12 hours plus and you're still going to be smelling of this beautiful aromatic tobacco and honey fragrance. I've worn this for a couple of Christmas days which for me is a very special occasion because I always get together with my family. It's that one day of the year that we all look forward to getting together and being in the same place which doesn't happen very often. It has got an addictive quality so I could easily be tempted to wear this a lot more often than I do. But like I said I'm conscious that it would lose its sheen, it would lose its sparkle and I wouldn't class this as a special fragrance for special occasions. This fragrance from Creed is very special to me for a number of reasons. It's Bois de Portugal. Not a million miles away from Eau Sauvage Parfum, it's that very gentlemanly, crisp, clean, classic cologne type of smell. Lots of lavender in this. Lots of sandalwood in here so we get the creaminess that comes along with that. This is a beautiful, quite barbershoppy style scent, so it's got that spicy creamy clean smell that you would associate with like an old school barber shop special to me because i've been going to portugal for years with my family not that i was wearing this when i was a kid when i was going to portugal with them but i do have a connection with the country and this is inspired by the country of portugal so i feel like i've got a little bit of a connection because of that but an even bigger connection really is my sister got married out in portugal it was a beautiful wedding out on the cliff tops the sun was coming down gorgeous summer wedding and i wore this fragrance so i associate the smell of this with that amazing time in my life and also during that trip i managed to film a little video on this fragrance where i mentioned i was wearing it for my sister's wedding so i've managed to interweave some really nice portugal based scent memories into this i feel like it's a little too good a little too crisp and sophisticated to just wear as an everyday fragrance although you could easily do that but for me this is one i definitely like to keep for special occasions if i've got an event or occasion where it's spring or it's summertime this is gonna do the job for me if you love fragrance as much as i do head over to my online store luxparfum.co.uk you'll find my favorite brands plus brands you can't find anywhere else in the uk link is in the description speaking of those heavier winter fragrances. This is one from Tom Ford that I definitely wouldn't want to wear in the high summer heat. Tobacco Oud. One of my absolute favourites from Tom Ford. I feel like the, the whiskey, the boozy quality of this fragrance is more front and centre than the tobacco itself or the Oud. So it could have been called Whiskey Galore because that would have been a great name for a fragrance. This definitely has a potency and an intensity. Winter special occasions really hits the spot for me. Bullseye every time. I don't want to ever get tired of wearing this. I don't want to over wear this fragrance. Cold weather, special occasion. There's not too many of those, but when there are, this is my choice. Unfortunately for Tobacco Oud, when it comes to these colder weather special occasions, it's up against a true gladiator of the fragrance world. An absolute beast mode powerhouse. One of my all time favorite fragrances from Parfum de Mali, Carlisle. This is a massive, full bodied, really well-rounded, very 
powerful, fruity, woody, spicy scent. This has the added benefit of being a crowd pleaser. This is the sort of smell that everybody loves. It's so rich and addictive and easy to like. This one's also notched up a couple of Christmas day wearings. I also wore this for another wedding. My friend got married in the Lake District. Beautiful part of England. It was October, so all the autumn colors surrounding us. I think I was wearing a tweed waistcoat and this fragrance just matched the day, matched the season and matched what I was wearing perfectly. Carlisle is one of my go-to beast mode special occasion fragrances. A rose-based fragrance that I've really enjoyed over the last couple of years is Lamar from Kajal. This is so sophisticated and so refined. Definitely a special occasion sort of smell for me. But I just want to mention their newer version because this is really interesting and it's potentially going to change the fragrance industry. This is Lamar Caviar. Very similar smell to the original Lamar but what we've got with this fragrance is a brand new technology, perfume pearls. This fragrance is made up of tiny little pearls and within each pearl is a water-based fragrance oil and when you spray the fragrance each of these tiny little pearls explodes on your skin and gives off an amazing scent. This means the fragrance is natural and sustainable. It's vegan and cruelty free, and it's also ethanol free. So there's no alcohol contained in this. This fragrance has been fascinating me because when you look what's in the bottle, it's not like a normal perfume oil. It's much thicker. It's got a certain color and consistency and when you look really close you can actually see these tiny little perfume pearls. The notes of this one are exactly the same as the original Lamar. There are differences in the smell. It's not quite got the warming woods or vanilla. It's perhaps slightly cleaner and a little bit fresher but for the most part it is a very very similar smell to the original Lamar. Smells super high quality, very luxurious, perfect for a special occasion. Spray this on around your neck and you can have your very own pearl necklace. The final special occasion fragrance is my favorite fragrance of all time. This is my goat. I don't wear it very often. It's one of the fragrances that I love the most, that I probably wear the least. Roger Parfum's Enigma. So many reasons why this is a special fragrance to me. First of all, I love the smell. I remember when I first smelled it, it blew me away. It's got this cola float type of smell, so vanilla ice cream in cola, but there's this beautiful, rich cognac. Probably the most luxurious fragrance that I own. This has also done a few Christmas days. I think this is the one I've worn most at Christmas time. I certainly wore this Christmas just gone. I've worn this when I've been a best man at my friend's wedding. I've worn it for christenings. I've worn it for a good number of special occasions. And also this bottle itself was gifted to me in person by Roger Dove himself. Enigma is just exquisite. For me, it's on another level, probably because I've got it connected to so many special events and special occasions and special times in my life. It's, it's, it's just special. There are my special occasion fragrances, but what I want to know is, what are yours? Which are the fragrances that you love so much that they're just too good for casual, everyday wear. They're fragrances that you want to wear for those select occasions when you want to take things up a notch, when you want to take things to the next level. Or do you wear them? Do you just wear them every day? The fragrances that you love the most, do you save them or do you wear them? Do you really get your money's worth? And are they still special? If you wear them too much, are you conscious that you would overwear them and they wouldn't be as special anymore? Tell me what they are. Drop them all down there in the comments. I would love to know what you're all wearing. Maybe it's the fragrance you might wear if I have a 100,000 subscriber party, for example. Yeah, that's a good one. Tell me what fragrance you would wear if I invited you to my 100,000 subscriber party. Let's hear from you. Okay, that's it from me. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you do all that, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.